Recently, there has been a lot of chatter about the future of Aaron Wan-Bissaka. The right back arrived in the summer of 2019 in the midst of United's era of inconsistencies on and off the football pitch. Now, regarded by some as one of the best 1v1 defenders in Europe, his time with the Red Devils may be coming to an end and the United Twins, we need to speak about it. Blessings to everybody inside, including yourself. Cappy yeah. Mitchell, sure you're hitting that like button, subscribing if you're new, sharing to your friends and frenemies. Share these twins to another dimension, please. And thank you. Now, AWB arrived here from Crystal Palace as a 21 year old. Five year deal with an extra option, which we have already entered. Coach Oli Gunnar Solskjaer at the time called him one of the best upcoming defenders in the Premier League. It would be interesting to see where our audience, the 22s, would rank his skill set in the current day. Mm. Perhaps let us know in the comment section. But at his time of arrival, you could say it was somewhat of a transitional period. Again, as Ole entered his first summer, his full-time boss of the club, Diogo Delo was here, arrived a year prior and was most definitely still more in a developmental stage. Not at the level he was for parts of last season, for example. Timothy Fosumenso was there, remember the name, but I never truly believed that he would be true competition for the right back spot with all due respect. I just think he was never positioned that way in a convincing manner. Wan-Bissaka essentially arrived with the opportunity to be in that starting position and he did exactly that. 34 starts in the Premier League in his debut campaign. I said all that to say this though. For young players, I have for a few years now seen issues with the way our internal environment and the way people inhabited within that bubble stunted growth. Numerous names can be cited over the last decade, but essentially the more coaches that have been chopped and changed over time weren't ever able to truly reset that culture of toxicity. That in your soul, look, Ineos, while working with Eric Ten Hag, are attempting to do that in the present. And we can only hope that happens. Oh. One thing I do believe from the past, however, is that players like Aaron Wan-Bissaka, despite being talented, being able to perform at a high level in certain areas, unfortunately, I don't think his potential or skill set was due to be maximised in such a chaotic situation where the club status amongst the competition when it comes to development was so volatile. More to add on to CM's point also. You know, in fact, I'll give more of an updated opinion on Aaron wan -Bissaka because my overall opinion of him has changed a lot over time. He's quite a difficult player to analyse because while he often looks awkward on the ball, by no means is he up there with one of the best. I think since arriving at the club, AWB's improvement in that dribbling area has been noticeable. He has become a much more competent ball carrier and has showcased his intelligence to find positions on and off board in the opposition's final third where he can receive and play the ball into dangerous pockets across the ground or act as a decoy. Defensively, as CM said, he remains today as one of those anomalies when it comes to discussing some of the best and most consistent 1v1 defenders in the league, possibly in Europe. There has been a glaring issue, however, with his positioning defensively, which when you look at the nature of the goals we concede, that is a part of the problem. Concentration, communication to quickly adapt and prevent spaces from opening up in behind the defense and, and so on. He isn't a main culprit by any means, and I didn't exactly go into this summer looking at the right back position in general as a place we desperately needed to strengthen in, but now, that seems like a reality. Nusea Masraoui, former Ajax player currently at Bayern Munich and a Moroccan international, of course, had agreed personal terms with Manchester United. And it also seems that the clubs have agreed a fee in principle between 15 to 20 million pounds. The only thing holding up that deal is whether Wan-Bissaka is sold or not. And on that end, the, the club looking to acquire is West Ham United. We're also in the running to sign Masraoui before falling out of the race soon after. Ultimately, when a player has been here for such a long time through a tumultuous period, you have to accept that they may have peaked in a specific environment. I think with Wan-Bissaka, that is the situation. And in order to improve piece by piece, those small changes have to be made. 
It won't be universally loved or accepted, but time I'm sure will tell if the decision was the right one to make. Statistically, Mashraoui is more of a progressive player in that position, including the few times I've seen him play for club and country. One of my biggest frustrations with Manchester United fullbacks and wingers alike is that they are not diverse enough in their abilities to create in different areas of the pitch. Yeah. Making the wrong decision and, and vice versa. Another one of their preseason focuses, and, and by the sound of things, Ruth Van Nistelrooy is a massive part of overseeing those repetitive drills, even though they were referenced to attacking situations. Away from that, you also need personnel who can execute in those positions, and I believe that Nusay and Masraoui can achieve that at a higher level. The way we play as a team will also dictate how successful that is too. One of my concerns about the player is his injury record. He hasn't missed under 10 games since the 2018-19 season. 20 different injuries which range from a lot of muscular issues which could become more of a problem mm. given the physical demands and a few knocks too. We can't, of course, forget about Diogo Dolo, who at this point appears to be a crucial piece of the puzzle and can lighten the load with competent rotations as the campaign progresses. But the 22s, how do you feel about first and foremost Aaron Wan-Bissaka potentially leaving Manchester United and the man who most likely now will be his replacement? Let us know in the comments below. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new. Let us know what you would like the twins to speak about in future videos. And until the next time, we'll see you lots in a bit.